So, what I will talk about is the viable system approach and cybernetics applied to the, uh, the, the, uh, the sustainability issue. Of course, I will not tell now talk about all the possible approach, systemic approaches to this because it would be infinite. I will tell, uh, talk about what I think. So, so I talk up my name. I mean, not that every, because everybody. No, the system approach has another characteristic that, that is completely multidisciplinary. It's impossible to say this is for this discipline and not for that. When, when we talk about viable systems, they cannot be applied to everything. In fact, they come from biology, and then because for living system theory of Hinder, for example, and then they arrive to business, and then they go back to society politics. Stafford Beer became famous because he was the consultant of Allende in Chile before Allende was killed. Stafford Beer actually was, didn't even have a university degree actually. And then I start always with this. I think action makes everything more than communication. Communication, yes, is important, but when then we do action and we communicate more with action than with other means of communication. That's what, what I believe. That's why I start often with this phrase, in the beginning was the deed. That is how uh, Goethe rewrites the beginning of the Gospel of St. John, valuing the deed over an activity, and not the word, not, not the fault, not the energy, but the action. We create our reality. And this is so important also for sustainability, because it's our action make the work, what do we do sustainable. Sustainability as what the solutions can be, of course, the, oh, pardon, the holistic way of human action, and this is obvious, because the system thinking, of course, looks at the wall, the wall but not without considering the parts, and this we will try, I will try to show shortly. To achieve this holistic view must be included in the decision-making process. No rules, not rules, but individual responsibility awareness. This is the most important thing. I don't believe, and this is my personal opinion, that rules are the way to achieve the sustainability. So, a system doesn't exist in nature. We create the system. We put the boundaries. Nothing has boundaries, actually. So, everything can be considered as a wall. But we put the boundaries. Because why we need boundaries? We need boundaries to study because our mind is limited. We don't have an infinite possibility of knowing things. We need to say, okay, I have to study the fur. Okay, I cannot study the, the planet, the firm in the universe. This is how it is a more or less a very simplified scheme of how we approach, with the viable system approach, the problems. So we have a system in a context, and then we have subsystems that are, for example, in a body, the organs of the body, in a company, the various functional processes inside the company, and then we have the little that makes the homeostatic control, the homeostatic balance between the parts. Cybernetics is the science of communication and control. That's it. That's how I intend the cybernetics. Of course, then there is another branch of cybernetics that went to, towards the artificial intelligence things and robots and this kind of stuff, which is actually opposite of what Wiener was saying because he had more a human approach to cybernetics or the kibernetics. So we need to widen the Kubernetes horizon because viability is the ability of the system to survive in, in this environment. So to survive for how long? That's the point. We, forget, we want to just to survive until next year? Okay. If you want we, it to survive forever for my grandchildren and so on, then I have to understand that it is not just a matter of money, but it is a matter of also what it creates in the environment. Rules. Rules hide the responsibility. I, I really think so. Whatever there is a rule, you find a way to turn around the rule.
Uh, and then you say, Bob, I did everything by the rules, so you cannot blame me for what happened, because I respected the rules. In Italy, we have a lot of rules, but the effect that then nobody is responsible. I follow the rules. So, if uh, what the problem is that everything must be tra the transparency of what you do. So, everything, everybody must know what you are doing. There must be a system that is conceived so that everybody can see what you do. And then they can see, and then you will have the responsibility for what you did. Otherwise, no way, just to say rules. I think rules are, for, are perfect when you want to do something bad. And then you find, oh, well, I want the rules so I can do what I want. And this is the, actually the research question that I propose for sustainability in the study of system. How to design a system that can be transparent and then where you can easily trace the responsibility and the, and the power of each one, of each agent in the system. And as I told at the beginning, we will need abductive decision making. There is no algorithm, no way to no, no general rules that can be applied, but we have to uh, uh, use abductive because the, the complexity of this is incredible. So, concluding, the research keywords I think are important to, to be studied in, in this, uh, with the system and cybernetics, uh, viable system and so on, applied to sustainability are, of course, the holistic systems view, and then the transparency, so how would we design systems for to be transparent, to, be, to make responsibility not completely, uh, easily recognizable from outside. The awareness, how to make the awareness of the, of the organ of governance and the leadership. Of course, the studies on leadership are important in this. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>